bad bitch told me she won't settle for my love I don't cash a check, yeah, I just rip it up In the back of the Hummer, got all my gas burning What's up YouTube, it's your boy KFR, back with another Let's go, guys. Okay. Banger, and today we're gonna talk about the new defensive badges in NBA 2K23 Yes! Oh, Okay, so here's the list of the new badges in NBA 2K23 and the removed one. So first of all, we'll just we'll go down to the bottom and we'll start with the removed. Defensive leader is gone. That was the one that used to give you plus four to your whole team, I believe, if it was on half. And it would boost your team on de with their defensive stats, I mean, yeah, obviously. So we'll go from the top now. Anchor, a crucial badge for the last line of defense bigs, improves the ability to block contest shots in the paint. So it's, it's just a big man badge for paint defense. Box Out Beast is like um box or whatever it was. I think it was called box. Helps rebounders win box out battles on both offense and defense. Rebounding situations. Work Horse. The Pat Bev badge. The boosts your ability to hustle down 50-50 balls. Play hard-nosed defense without getting tired. Uh, so that's like a badge for when you're playing a lot of defense. I love named after legendary defender Gary Payton. His son's in the NBA now too. Gary Payton Jr. I think it is. Helps you strip players as they gather for shots and poke the ball f free from defenders. I mean, ball handlers. So that's when you used to, like, poke the ball. I'm pretty sure it'll... Like, when you get a tip on it or whatever, I'm pretty sure it's going to give you way more steals now. And then this challenger improves the effectiveness of perimeter shots contest. So if you're contesting someone that's shooting a three, it'll help you get out there to contest it, which is good to help the game. And then, yeah, defensive lead is gone, of course. Alright, for the next one now, this is a tweet by NBA 2K23 Locker Codes or something. And it says uh, that there's rebuilt shot in So this is just, it's summed up. There's rebuilt shot contests and blocking, new defensive positioning logic, new hedge defender logic, uh, new shot made up, but that's not really about defense. New badges for defense, more badge points apparently. So I think there's a tier system. So you have to have a certain amount of each tier to get a higher tier. So like the, I think it only goes to gold this year, but it's like tier three instead of gold they're calling it. And then there's some new size ups and uh, dribble sequences for, um, on offense. And then there's, there's new badge loadouts too for for um. So I'm pretty sure the badge loadout from 2K22 next gen is gonna be all throughout the game. And it's going to make it easier like for you to have different badge loadouts for whether you're playing 2s, 3s, or 1s that you can choose between every game to play the game to play the way you want to play, pretty much. Because then, say you're playing 1s, you don't want badges that only work on 2s and 3s on. Yeah, so it'll help you play better on every court, and it'll be way better, and it'll make the game more smooth. So that you're not using wasting badges and stuff, and it'll make it, the overall standard of the game way better. Anyway, so that's um all there is pretty much for defense. So make sure you guys like and sub up. I'll be doing a finishing badge video soon as well, which will be a W. So yeah, make sure you guys like and sub. We a star now. We pop out, they know we going far now. We on now. Oh, we get it now. Oh, now it's going down. I pop out, they know it's going down. I've been a man, my bro higher than the f***ing ceiling fan I've been training for